Um, we're now going to be looking at what cities can do globally to spread green solutions. We have uh, illumination on the topic from the uh, mayor of the city of light, Anne Hidalgo. And we'll also be hearing from Michael Bloomberg, former mayor of New York and the UN Secretary General's special envoy on cities and climate change. Now, together, they hosted yesterday here in Paris the largest ever summit and gathering of mayors, governors, and local leaders from around the world focused on climate change. So uh, I'll invite them both to come up on stage where we'll be having a bit of a chat about what their vision is and what difference they can make. Thank you both very much for joining us. Um, get comfy. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off with you, Anne Hidalgo. Um, here at COP21, a lot of the focus has been on what national governments can do to cut carbon emissions, but you're a big believer in cities leading the way on that front. But what difference can the contributions of cities make in comparison to that of states? D'abord, ce qu'il y a de différent, c'est peut-être que nous sommes tous très volontaires. Tous les maires engagés avec nous, avec Michael Bloomberg, veulent agir. Nous sommes les lieux, les villes où se produisent les gaz à effet de serre. Donc nous sommes les territoires des problèmes, mais nous sommes aussi celui des solutions. Le deuxième élément, c'est que nous sommes rassemblés. Le rassemblement des maires que nous avons eu hier qui représente plus de 600 millions d'habitants, est un rassemblement historique, sans précédent, pour agir. Le troisième élément, c'est que nous portons des solutions concrètes à travers nos politiques dans nos villes, sur les transports, sur l'habitat, sur toutes les questions qui ont à voir avec le climat. Et puis, nous avons pris des engagements concrets par exemple, cet engagement de faire en sorte, nous les maires, que dans nos villes, à horizon de 2050, 100% de l'énergie soit de l'énergie renouvelable. Et puis enfin, je crois que nous sommes aussi l'avenir, qu'aucune des solutions permettant de sauver la planète, d'engager les populations, ne se fera sans l'implication des maires. Voilà les différences, mais surtout nous voulons être utiles. Nous ne sommes pas des contre-pouvoirs. Nous sommes des pouvoirs qui portent une parole forte de centaines de millions de citoyens et qui voulons agir et qui sommes déterminés à le faire. Thank you very much, Anne Hidalgo. Uh, Michael Bloomberg, uh, together with uh, Anne Hidalgo, you have offered your support on behalf of all the mayors that uh, support your organizations to the negotiators here at COP21. But what could, would you like to see from them that they could offer uh, in support of city action? Well, to solve a problem, you approach it two ways. One, from a national level, governments sign agreements, uh, treaties, pass laws, uh, use grants and tax policy to influence something. And from the other side, it's the demand. Uh, families want to make sure their kids are safe and have longer lives. Corporations want to limit their liabilities and improve their efficiencies. Uh, mayors have to deliver things at a local level where the people really live. And the great thing about this conference now, as opposed to, let's say, go back to Copenhagen, is both the national governments are here and the local governments are here. And no matter what the federal national governments do, the implementation is at the city level. It's the mayors typically that actually it's where the rubber meets the road, we have an expression. Uh, the people live there, the pollution comes from there, the solutions are there. And so it really is a partnership. Uh, both the federal governments, they want to be in power, the city governments want to be in power, but the bottom line is the practical reality is if they both work together, you will get something done. And I think what comes out of this conference is an understanding that cities have already done an awful lot of what federal governments are promising. Uh, in New York, for example, uh, after Copenhagen, the government tried to pass laws which never got approved, but they called for progress by 2020, which we've already made without any federal laws. And that's happened in a number of places, and I think you'll see that continue to happen. 
Thanks very much, uh, Michael Bloomberg. Uh, now, I believe that we may have a video just to illustrate some of that collaborative work with uh, global mayors that you were talking about. Uh, that should be popping up on screen by the spirits of uh, media any second now. Notre mobilisation, mes chers amis, est historique. Elle peut résoudre la moitié de l'équation climatique mondiale. Oui, la moitié de l'équation climatique mondiale. Today, we are more united than ever before in this fight. We are speaking with one voice, and that voice must be heard. De savoir que nous allons agir pour une période que nous ne vivrons pas, que nous ne pourrons pas mesurer les résultats de nos actions, et que Si nous ne sommes pas forcément jugés pour aujourd'hui, je vous l'assure, nous serons jugés pour demain si nous avons réussi, mais encore davantage si nous avons échoué. Mais nous allons, j'en suis sûr, en vous voyant, réussir. Merci. With funding and finance mechanisms, developing cities will achieve massive carbon savings. What are you going to do if we do nothing about climate change? Storms will be much worse. The Compact of Mayors formed under Mayor Bloomberg's leadership today encompasses 361 cities, over 337 million people, pledging to take bold action on climate change. When the world comes together to take action to fight climate change, it is only fitting that the name of this city will become synonymous with climate change for generations to come. Mayors being closer to the people and closer to the ground and less political, it's not that they're not political, they're just less political. We are moving to a future world that is sustainable and prosperous and just and equitable. By signing on to the compact, each city commits to three major ideas. Chers amis, je vais vous demander par acclamation d'approuver la déclaration de Paris. Clearly a very busy day for you and mayors from around the world. Congratulations, and thank you very much for joining us on our, our panel now. Um, Michael Bloomberg and Mayor Hidalgo, thank you very much. Woo.